I think Addy picked a bad trail. Like it keeps going, but. We've made it to Montana and we are hanging out for the week in Bozeman. I had read some really good reviews about Bozeman uh, being like a college town and a very thriving uh, like downtown. Um, and I heard it was like a mix between Austin, Texas and like Wyoming. And we had to get maintenance done on the truck doing the transmission fluid and an oil change. Um, and found out when we went to check the truck in that there was a recall. <laughs> so the transmission uh, service was a little bit cheaper. So we got the recall done. I uh, got the oil changed all by I don't know a couple hours. My my wife here, my lovely wife, decided she wanted to go for a little hike. So in my defense, a it's little supposed hike. to be an easy hike. So I had uh, Pinterested some things to do in the area, and one of them was doing the College M hike. And so you, it's a it's a moderate hike up to uh, the Rock M, and it stands for Montana State University, which is based in Bozeman. Um, and so all the reviews I had read was it's good for families and it's good for kids and it's uphill, but it's pretty manageable. And uh, we made the grave mistake of leaving it up to the seven-year-old to pick which way we went. Uh, first, we packed two bottles of water. Which one of them was half drank by, by the, the time, time we, we even got, got there, there. Because of the nine-year-old. <laughs> and we didn't eat any food before because we were going to go get dinner afterwards. And then we picked the hottest part of the day to actually go do the hike. Yeah, so not... So we didn't really plan it all the way through because we weren't really expecting the height that we got. I think Addy picked a bad trail. Like, it keeps going, but... to the top of College M hike. A little bit more strenuous than we thought, but we made it. I didn't think, again, I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. Even all trails says it was. It was supposed to be two miles, you know, it a mile lied. in, a mile back. <laughs> and about halfway in, we let Addie, we said, which way do you want to go? This way or this way? And she, of course, picked like the most strenuous part. We were crawling on our hands and knees, practically up this hillside, yes, just to get were. in. <laughs> Steve's like. <gasps> oh, I was dying. <laughs> I was dying. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to carry this man down this mountain. Like, well, I was just going to roll. <laughs> I just love to pick and roll. <laughs> so downhill was a lot better. Well, and we went on like the regular route down. So. The path was clear and it wasn't um, as strenuous as the other one, but it was a cool view from the top. Oh, and then we spent a whole like five minutes at the top. Yeah. And then we hiked back down. Well, it was hot in the sun because it didn't have any shade. <laughs> <laughs> they also hosted a, um, a farmer's market on a Tuesday night with a live band. That was cool. Yeah, and so we had never experienced a farmer's market in the evening. Um, that's just not something that they do where we're from. So from Bozeman, we went up to Great Falls and actually on the way and we happened to like just look off to the right and there was this field full of pink. We like look over and Steve's like, okay, I'm turning around. So we turn around the trailer on a two lane road and we go down this uh, country road and there are fields and fields. And we pulled over, of course, because I wanted to like get up close and personal to it. And it was so pretty and the male lady stopped by. She goes, 
Oh, aren't they just gorgeous? It's hay they feed the cows, and it gives them less bloat. Um, Which is good. Yeah, and so these fields are just, like, beautiful. And they're mowing them down. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just mowing them down to make into hay bales. Yeah. Great Falls was a really nice spot. We ended up staying at the KOA there, and we met up with another full-time family uh, rolling by the dozen. And um, so they're, they ended up being, I don't know, five or ten spots down from us. Yeah. Well, we were at a KOA, so they had a... Kind of like a splash, half swimming pool. It was more, it was like a souped up splash pad. Yeah. slides and it went like the water was to your knees and the kids just had oh, they a heyday. Had, they had a heyday there. Yeah. And uh, it was just fun to just hang out, play with their kids. Yeah. Um, they had a really cool park as well. And um, we just really enjoyed just being with another full-time family. Talk to other folks that are in the midst of it, um, like us. And um, we also went and checked out the Ryan Dam. Um, and so in Great Falls, it's the Missouri River. Yes, Missouri River. So it flows right through, and there's a bunch of falls there. That's why it gets its name. Um, and so we went to the Ryan Dam because it had, like, this beautiful dam right there, but all these falls that went um, right with it. it is generated from the Missouri River water as it drops 150 feet from the reservoir behind the dam. The water you see is flowing from the bottom of the powerhouse as passed through the turbines and is returned to the river. The Ryan Hydroelectric Development can produce up to 60 megawatts of electricity, enough to power about 54,000 homes. Next, we're heading up to Kalispell and we're going to check out Glacier. So we will catch you guys next time.